But first, breaking news, two people hurt in a scaffolding collapse in East Garfield Park. CBS 2's Sabrina Franz is live on the scene speaking with witnesses. Sabrina? Jim Marie, two of the workers that were working on this scaffolding are in critical condition right now. And if you take a look at this building, you kind of get a hint as to what they were doing here. If you can see some of the brick on the third floor is missing. Now, this building was issued a permit on January 20th to rebuild and reset stones on that third floor, which appears to be why that scaffolding was lifted in the first place. And around 1.10 p.m. this afternoon, Chicago Fire Department tells us that two adult male workers fell as that scaffolding collapsed. Witnesses on scene said a stone fell on at least one of them. Likely some of that was being used in that construction. And both men, as we mentioned, were taken to the hospital to Stroger in critical condition. And witnesses on scene, they tell us they helped pull at least one man out of that rubble. I heard a loud noise. Uh, my mom came and got me and then rushed across the street. I saw a guy screaming. It was a thick piece of concrete boulder-like material on his chest and two of the guys helped me grab it off him. I do what I can, but you know, when you see another civilian in that, in that state, you, you, have to, you have to put your life on the line just like the firefighters do. Right now, additional demolition crews are on scene because the scaffolding is simply too large for the first team of demolition crews to take down on their own. So they're working to get the rest of that scaffolding down so the people that live here can get back in that building. We do not know who erected this scaffolding, but those are the questions that we will continue asking to find out who is responsible for this collapse. We're live in East Garfield Park. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.